Okay, I have never played Vectronom before. I don't know anything about it other than that on Steam it says it's a rhythm platformer, which I like both of those words. I like gold. I like showers. I like rhythm. I like platformers. I'm sure this will go well. Played a couple games like this before. Uh, 140 is the other one. Progress is automatically being saved. Let's see. Color aid. Player input margin. That's an interesting mechanic. I don't know how it works, I'll just leave it on normal for now. This all looks fine. New game. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, I can use the D-pad and the stick, that's a good sign. Okay. Cool way to introduce that. The time steps progress, whether or not I jump on a time step, but I have to jump on time steps, got it. It's pretty cool so far. Adjust the volume real quick. Hey Ascended, thanks for sharing this. Bogon ship. Beat precision, I see. Shapes and beats in 140, right? This is a fun genre. I hope we get more games in it. Look how your brain likes to associate each part, like... Yeah, Necker Dancer's pretty close. <laughs> okay. Could have guessed that, but red pyramids are not good to touch. I never played the bit trip games. They're all pretty different from each other, right? Is there like a stand in place button? Oh, the face buttons work too. The face stand in place button is to not press a button. <laughs> I just got myself in the mode of pressing the buttons constantly. so far. I need to like break the habit to want to move on every beat. I've got that like leftover muscle memory from Necker Dancer apparently. Okay, 
getting used to the ice isometric perspective is interesting too. I need to like hold my controller at an angle. The trip runner is the best one. This is a really cool game, Ascended. Thanks for sharing it. Just came out this year, or last year, 2019, I guess. Okay, I don't know if that red thing is always there or only on the beats where it's visible. Only on the beats where it's visible, okay. Uh, Celeste strawberries, right? Seems to be optional pickups that are just there for fun if you want to go for them. So early level in Bitrip Rimmer is way too long. People give up on. Interesting. Ha! Cool. exactly what they expected me to do. Nice. Good night, Kaihan. the center area to get to the secret there. Then we have a few beats to make it to it. I see. You gotta like pick it up on the same time step basically. I'm gonna be a coward and not get it. <laughs> I never get the true ending. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Pro ZD videos. To collect all 700 eggs. Do I have to? Oh, it's optional. It's optional. As long as you're okay with not getting the true ending. Okay. Think more on that one, apparently. <laughs> cool. Failure. I like how the beat gets mad at you as soon as you do something bad. Multiple tries, failed to get all the pickups. I assume you can go back to levels and pick up the pickups later. I 
I keep wanting to press like a button to wait and I just have to stand still. Maybe I can press right trigger because that does nothing. Yeah, right. Do you find you can generally do that with uh, sight reading ascended or do you think you have to practice each stage to be able to do it without stopping? Okay, I see. Da, 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 da. This is cool with the 3D effect. You just have to trust that the mechanic works even though you can't see it. Nice. The first part of the level is teaching you to. Whoops. Right idea, but not at the right execution. Power crash. It's already sad at me. Sorry, game. I need practice. See. So if you stand still, that doesn't count against your beat precision. Wait, this is the first level this has been a thing. 16th notes. I didn't realize that was even a thing. But I can move faster than the beat. Cool. Good way to force me to know. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Cool. Go completely on off beats. Perfect tempo. Interesting. So you can do any subdivision of the beat. As long as it's divisible by two, presumably. Like triplets probably aren't okay. I like how you kind of feel this game. Each of the stages follows the rhythm pattern. Once you see the pattern on the first beat, you can just kind of repeat it for the rest of the stage without actually looking at the elements you're working your way through. That's cool. Yeah, same here. Eventually, you don't have to look anymore. This is about your brain makes a connection between the pattern that it sees and what musical rhythm that represents in button presses. And then once you learn that, you can just kind of do it without looking at the screen anymore. It's pretty great. Thank you. 
I think these stages where you have to anticipate what the next step is going to be are better at teaching you how to play than the early stages where you don't really have to do any anticipating at all, right? Oh, god damn it, that sucks. Like, I feel like this game exists in this leap of faith space. stage. I guess the theming of the last section was the Leap of Faith stuff. I thought maybe the rest of the game would be going in that direction. is rough. This is just inverts whenever I see. Okay. That's what insomnia sounds like. Okay. Just inverted. So if I'm moving into a space on the beat change, I die. game as an exploration of what your brain does automatically without you really thinking about it. I like that your cube dances a little bit too, that's cool. Oh, we lose all the pickups. One more try. Let me try doing this uh, 16th notes, it's really, or 8th notes at least, it's really hard for me to get off of the quarter notes from playing lots of Crypt of the Necker Dancer. Not like that though. Or that. It's really hard for me to not move, too. I've got a lot of muscle memory telling me not to do that. Just don't double move there. My brain's trying to learn new strategies now, and it's not really working. Yeah, I I can't make myself stop. It's so hard. <laughs> I'll try practicing here. One and two and three and four and three four. One and two and three and four and one two three four. Got it. Two and three and four and one two. I think that's what they want you to do on this stage. One, two, three. 
motor. No! <laughs> uh, I gotta do it now. Do I go for the pickups? I should just do it. It'll be good practice for later levels that make me change up the tempo like this and rest occasionally. because it teaches your brain to do different things, I feel like. try, right? It's also, this game is really hard to talk during as well. I have a lot of respect for Phil Collins for being able to play the drums and sing at the same time. Alright, I'll shut up. I know this is miserable, but I'm having a blast, so sorry. Probably should just bail on trying to like stay in the beat, because it doesn't matter, because I've already screwed it up so badly. I'm already getting a 0%, right? Actually, that's a good question. Does the beat percentage just count for your successful attempt, or does it count across all failed attempts? Shoot. Yeah, we should just stay in the beat. I've already learned how to do that. I don't want to learn something new already. cares for the successful attempt. Okay, so I may as well keep trying if I fail.
I remember that I've died in that exact spot a million times. I need to just rest there. Exact same thing, same exact spot. Yeah. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and one. Shit. Too many there. Cheered at the end though, but it's fine. Okay. How does this work? The outside corners of the outline seem particularly hazardous. There's nowhere to jump to if you're caught there and swaps, right? My big problem has mostly just been like uh, training my brain to pause occasionally is really hard. In Necker Dancer, I think you're just always moving, unless if you have a special ability that lets you stop. Here, you pretty much just have to know where the gaps are. I guess if you saw the spike, you knew that it was safe there because it only moves on the off empty spaces. Yeah, this game's really cool. It's pretty hard too, like... I really enjoy rhythm games. I'm generally pretty decent at them. So like, I guess I'll put it this way. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, 100 falls. Uh, it's probably easy to just clear the stages if you don't mind like not getting all the pickups and not being in beat the whole time. But if you want to do it right, it's very hard. <laughs> I thought that spike was coming for me for sure. I'm guessing the game doesn't track your speed, but you can move an 18th or 6th, 8th note, sorry. It's really hard to talk about this game. There we go. Didn't get the pickup, so that's fine. You ready? 50 tries, 2 out of 4 pickups, 46% beat precision. Whatever. It's fun though. Oh, I see. So what's the pattern? Chase the spikes, basically?
the R8. Oh right, because it goes forward and then it comes back, doesn't it? And then I die. <laughs> It's one of those fun games where your brain starts to see that you fucked up early, right? You know you failed like six beats before it happens. I wonder if every stage has like a a presumed rhythm you'll go through it on. Like, I really connected with the Leap of Faith stage. By forcing me to take the Leaps of Faith, I was just like, okay, there's just one pattern, I'm just gonna repeat it through the whole level. And I assume that there's just one pattern for every single stage in this game. It's just, it's easier to see on the Leap of Faith stage than this one. Like, there's just like a symmetric beat that if you hold it, it will always work, you know? Dancer just makes you better at the game in general. Yeah. Start playing to not lose the beat if you don't have to keep it. Right. It's the same, it's empty space. Slightly better. Fractal Slalom. So there's a theme in each of these subworlds on the world map. Ha! Fun. Cubert now. So when is it safe? This is a mindfuck. Only in the offbeats, maybe? Yeah, it's on the offbeats, because on the offbeats you can move safely between two vertical ones. So let's try just going straight across for fun. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I think that might be my favorite stage so far. Autobahn. through the center you die now. Yes, yeah, so this is what I, I, I think this might be true. Maybe it's not true for some of the more maze-like levels, but I think that you can uncover a symmetrical pattern where it's like, you know, up, up, right, right, up, up, right, right, down, down, right, right, down, down, right, right. And if you can see that in the image, you can just tap into the beat and close your eyes for almost every stage in the game. Which is kind of cool, that makes it very different from something like 140, where you really need to look at the screen. Like this stage, right? It's just keep pushing in the same direction and trust that it's gonna work. Not now, though, apparently. Okay. What's the theme now? Okay. 
There's gotta be a faster way to do this one. Diamond. Perfect tempo, okay. So this is like the opposite of the stages I was just doing. Is it alternating? Nope. Nope, it still just goes straight and trust. So many of them are that in this one. Trust us, go straight. have to use the vertical to get out of the stage, okay. Got it. I saw this described, I think it said rhythm platform or puzzle, and I can see the puzzle part now. You have to decipher the image into a beat. Perception on this level is a little hard. Okay. Da, 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 two. See that one? Once I guess it on the first repetition, just repeat it for the rest of it without looking, and it's fine. It's really cool. I haven't played a, a rhythm game like this before. I first started playing like, oh, it's it's like 140 in Necro Dancer. I get it. Nope, I didn't get it yet. And I still haven't fully grokked it. I'm not good at it yet. Initial purchase was to teach me about jumping over spikes on the square they spawn in on, I think. Oh, it goes one way and then turns around, okay. I guess the rhythm suggests that, right? Because it's like a climbing tone and then a descending tone. So this game captures the feeling if you've ever played like Rock Band before and struggled to do a song right, and then like gone to sleep and woken up the next morning and your brain can just do it, you don't know what happened. <laughs> like this game is that, but the connection happens a lot faster. You struggle, 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 and then you're like, oh, I guess I get it. And then you just watch yourself do it, and you're like, what? Calculated, I guess. So imagine going for all the pickups makes that way harder. Dead or not, yeah. you, Walter. It's 
Same for this one. Okay, so they act as like cover. So you can make it with quarter notes, so it's a little bit harder. just decided that's the way to get to the exit. Okay, trust you. It's like I'm along for the ride. It's... This would be a fun game to play while doing, like, drugs or something. <laughs> I've never taken hallucinogen hallucinogenics. I imagine you might be better at this game with them active. Yeah, this is that... Leap, leap of Faith style level here. Or you literally can't see what you're doing, but it's okay. Just shut up. stages together like this stage is the exact same pattern as the last one it's still count to three except now you just move straight the whole time so you have a pretty good chance of sight reading it oh interesting One, two, three, four, five, six, dead, dead. There's a cool element of conveyance in some of the songs. If you've been listening to the tracks in that world, like you start to just intuit what a certain instrument means. It's cool. left right balance all oh, right alternates <laughs> cheated I should learn how to do it though maybe better at the later stages Doing the beat precision thing I think is really smart. It makes it so this game isn't inaccessible to someone that is less like rhythm savvy. You could totally just run through every level and just avoid things by looking at it. I guess except for the um, the leap of faith levels, you can't get away with that. Thank you. 
Ja. Now we're doing syncopation. I think spikes started showing up over here, didn't they? Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Spikes. I need to center myself before I start going over there at all. Centric. Jump on the last beat, okay. Interesting. I kind of wish the square made a very slight sound whenever you moved. Help a bit with feeling the, the beat. I'm mostly just relying on the sound of the ticking on the D-pad. I don't think I could do this with the analog stick. It's the fun little variant of the one we just did. Perpendicular, basically. You got it, apparently. It's more cowbell on the track. I thought that was about to be, uh, what's the Tetris song? Kura Benico or something like that? Well, maybe it is meant to sound like it because it look like Tetris pieces, right? Cool. 
Chrono Beniki? Okay, thanks. I think that's on purpose. The next Tetramino is uh, telegraphed by where the spike points, but I did that without looking at that until the very end. Yeah, Tetramino! Cute. Very cute. Look at this game too. They have like one square. I don't think that thing is ever available on the turn I need it to be available though, is it? There's a mechanic I'm not grasping yet. Oh, I see. It'll launch me regardless of whether I land on it on the exact moment that it's available. Got it. catchy song. the whole thing up. You sure can. Nice. Pretty scary. Weight jump. Yeah, that's a good name for it. Perfect tempo. One of these I'll do these. Single try, all pickups, perfect tempo. This is a game where once we beat it on sub block, I might try to 100% this off stream. Maybe I'll record it. And just post it to YouTube after the fact. Do nothing. Power of resting, right? A John Cage song. 14. I forget the name of the song. The John Cage song where it's just like 14 minutes of rests. All these connect because I'm not seeing it just yet.
<laughs> Again, take your word for it, brain. It looks like it worked. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening, Walter. <laughs> it's delightful. I've never played a game like this before. I see my brain start to get it, and then I stop to try to think, wait, is that what's happening? Oh, and then I died. I should have just kept doing it intuitively. This is like the ultimate don't think game. Don't worry, your brain's got this shit for you. I need to figure out how they connect. What is happening? <laughs> Checker waltz. <laughs> I think I recommend this game to everybody in chat, whether you're into the genre or not. Just for this experience of your brain figuring out what to do without you necessarily being on the same page with it. I think I'm in trouble without getting over to the other side now. So this is like one I've done before, except now I have to do two moves per beat. Sometimes three if I'm turning a corner. are really fucking with me here. This is like my, my big weakness, this kind of stage. Where it's like you kind of have to look at it, sort of. cheated there, I would have gotten it. tries. It just sounds so sad with you and you fuck it up. Okay, a bit longer. wanted to be a beat earlier. <laughs> I really wanted to be a beat earlier. If 
background colors moving in time with the stage cycle. I guess you could use that as a guide, huh? Oh, there's always a hole there. Okay, I can just go straight across. Okay, so there's like a turn I have to make there. That's kind of hard to intuit when it timing is. Time. Should have gone straight, we would have had it. Just gonna wait on that second one. First try. See four squares growing and tricking and overlapping. It's not as awful, right? like a good time. Why are you fucking it up? Why are you so bad? And I'll be like, do you want to try? And he'll be like, no. no. I just want to sit here and judge you. All right, so you're a little cute. How did you know it was going to move? You just have to learn no. the pattern? You can watch it at first. Okay. <laughs> I, love I cheated at the end. You just run, you're like, fuck it. <laughs> Who needs to be in the beat? This game is really cool because your brain figures out what to do before you figure out what to do. Just from the music? Yeah, well, you like be paying attention and then you're like, your brain just like, oh, just press these buttons and you're just kind of looking down at your hand like, what am I doing? Right. Why is this working? That's cool. watching this show on um, Netflix called What If? This millionaire investor. The way it starts is she's like, oh, I'll invest in your startup company if you let me spend the night alone with your husband and never tell you what happens. So anyway, she's kind of a crazy bitch and they go with it. So now they're just, it's their lives as the startup company's doing really well, but the crazy bitch is still interfering with their lives. It's, you know, kind of a thriller. I like it. But yeah, I already binge watched all of uh, season two of You, which is also really good and probably gives you an idea of what sort of shows I like. 
But yeah, you, you is good. You should watch that too. Oh, like right there. I don't know what right? happened. Right, you just. But that's the pattern, I guess. You just knew. Just do that. I think I get it already. Yeah, it's one of those things, it's like um competency porn, is that the right word? Yeah. You know, like where the person's bad. doing this really contrived plan and you're like, there's no way this is gonna work. And then you watch it play out and you're like secretly hoping it's gonna work, even though it really does terrible things to the other characters in the show. Um kinda like breaking bad. That was competency porn, except of higher quality. But, I don't know, I think both shows are good. The acting's good. The writing's good. I love this game. It's so good. You start to feel at one with the universe. Yeah, and it, Walter caught me at one point where, like, I tried to figure out what was happening, and then I died. Like, I was just doing it, like, wait, why am I succeeding? Okay, no, no, no. Just, just get in the zone, man. <laughs> just get in the zone. I say don't think, just go, but it's not don't think, just go. It's don't think. Sometimes you're not supposed to go. Are those spikes gonna kill you? They will, yeah. How do you deal with that? Every single square has a spike. I think I can jump over them on the... Oh, I didn't know you could jump. Well, I can't really. I think there is a like single square. Like, you have to be square. moving on that beat. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I can oh, jump over square, them. Sorry. I'm, they're up for so little time. Oh, I see it now. This is a challenge. What stays consistent the whole time? The that one, one square, square that doesn't have spikes at. on. Oh no! Why would you keep going? You had it! Just don't keep going! You have to, you have to no, stay on that square! square there. No! Oh, it's I right see. there! <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Oh, I don't yeah, have to they run. are like watching these people do really evil things. Is yeah. Can be uh yeah stressful. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, not quite that. I'll let it come back here. But then I can't keep going straight. Then I have to do something else once I get to the end. Oh, it's this one. It's left two. Right. Okay. Do you see it? I think I see it. Yeah, you got it. But I need to figure out how to get out after that. Does do you have to get the, the little side? bonus cube or now? No, I don't. I'm being bad about not doing those right now because the game's hard enough without going for them. <laughs> yep. I'm a real asset to the stream, Dylan. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to be around next week, but then I'm gone literally for the next two weeks because over the weekend I'm flying out to Vermont for my sister's um Bachelorette party. I don't know what to do once so, I get up there. You'll probably get lots of stream from him. Top left corner. But it holds for too long for that to be the safe path. Aw, you're sweet, Kaima. I have a colleague whose wife just uh, opened a yarn store here in town. Or I, I guess it's a cooperative, sorry. There's a difference. Go, 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 <laughs> See what I mean? Like, 
I'm just over here puzzling out, like, what am I even supposed to press when I get over there? And I was like, yeah, just do that. You got it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, knitting seems like a really uh, awesome hobby. Because I see people just, like, bring knitting to, like, seminars and stuff. So they can just kind of knit while they listen to this person talk about whatever. Oh, that's what the spikes are for, okay. Shit. I've already even seen people bring knitting to like a party so they have something to do if they don't want to talk to anyone. That like flip, the negative space flip, just yeah. fucks with my mind. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's why I love. Oh uh, shit, I was a little late. A little offbeat. It's okay. It's really hard to talk while playing this game. You are welcome to talk, and please. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is our perfect game. Great. I don't know what to talk about. Gives me more respect for Phil Collins that he can sing and play drums at the same time. I guess I can talk about how, so my sister, she's getting married in April, and they're trying to do their own wedding, like, with as little pageantry as possible. I mean, they're still doing, like, a father-daughter dance, because my dad wants that. Um, oh, but, shit. like, they're not going to do the whole cutting the cake ceremony. They're just going to bring out some sheet cake and be like, go fucking get yourself a piece if you want cake. So like, I don't want to interrupt the reception where everyone's having fun just so that we can like put a knife through cake. Anyway, but so. people who have interrupted the reception in order to show off their sheet cake, that's awesome for you. Great. It is, yes. It's a really cute tradition where you know you feed each other and she's sort lying. Of, she hates it so much. You know, you're you're signifying that it is now okay to have cake. <laughs> because <laughs> if anyone, if I don't know if you know this about me, but. Me and food are very connected. Um, for example, if there's a buffet and everyone's just sitting around twiddling their thumbs, I will be the first person in line for said buffet. No questions asked and Action no guilt. Action Andrea. Yeah, so like Dylan, he went to a uh, award thing for our nephew. It was a breakfast thing at the school and everyone brought breakfast. Like huge donuts, table, huge cool. table, muffins, you know, all those, all the trimmings or whatever. No one ate a single thing because no one broke the food ice. And yeah. Dylan's like, you should have been there <laughs> because you would have been like nothing. donuts. Fuck yeah, I want a donut. Whew. That was a tough one. Um, I knew what to do early in that stage, but it was hard. So yeah, so it's good to, at a way for me to know when I can and can't have the cake, or else I would just go at it and probably ruin everything. Ooh, Robin, that would be very mean. Oh, but anyway, so yes, yeah, so they've been doing their whole wedding planning, and they were like you know, looking at caterers, and caterers are like, you know, $50, $60 a plate. Cheap caterers are $50, $60 a plate. And they're having about 100 people at their wedding, so we're talking, you know, a couple thousand dollars, five grand or whatever. And they're like, no one remembers the food at a wedding. No one remembers the food. So why should we spend $5,000 on this thing that no one's gonna remember? So they found a local barbecue place that is going to cater their wedding for uh, $950. So they're saving a shit ton of money and we get to have barbecue, which I'm stoked about. I fucking love barbecue. It's like the wedding I went to where they had a taco bar. Stoked about that. I'd rather have a taco bar than like chicken. You ask other people to have a taco bar. I do. People are like, oh, we're getting married. I'm like, great. Are you having a taco bar? Because <laughs> you should have a taco bar. <laughs> Okay, so over to up one. Let me just see if there's a connection in the corner. There's not. Shit. Okay. 
That's right, not left. Okay. Yeah, I guess with the buffet, I'm not gonna feel bad being the first one because I'm in the wedding party. So we're allowed to eat first, right? Isn't that the rule? I don't know, I've never had a wedding. Sup, 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 hype, sup, 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 hype. <laughs> <laughs> I got in your head. Got in your head. <laughs> Man, you almost had it that one time. I would have been done minutes ago. Has to be seven four for the pattern to work. Nice. You're welcome, Ronovan. It worked too. Yes, it did. I got it in his head. Okay. <laughs> I let you win that time. Oh, okay. Yeah. It Just was so you know, only through your mercy. It was only through my mercy. <laughs> I could have made you lose so bad. Our mercies are new every morning. There's not. See what I mean? Like. Yeah, you're just doing it. Just doing you said, it. Said fuck you, other cube. I don't need to get you. I might come back and do those. That did not work the way I thought it was going to work. Also, did not work the way I thought it was going to work. Yeah, I really dig this game. Like, I would be totally fine to just play another Just Shapes and Beats or another 140, but the puzzle element's really cool. Wow, anything you press works. Like, you can use the right stick, the left stick, the D-pad, or the thumb button, or the oh, face buttons. different. This is garbage to me. I don't know what this is. Is it because it's right to left, not left to right? No, it's a little different this time. It's a combination of the last two levels. The first level was the squares, the second level was the plus signs, and now it's both. Alternates, got it. I don't like that. A little, little anxious and antsy there. Jumping the gun. Oh, that's cute, making you side step like that. Sure. Oh, there was a uh, post on Reddit where they showed the like Finnish governmental cabinet. There were four of them, and they were all women under 34. Which I thought was cool. Go Finland. Okay, I gotta figure out the single block step is throwing me off. Like, I don't know that you get 
a huge benefit from being good at rhythm games. Like, if you're at least able to press buttons on the beat, that's helpful. But the bigger thing is your brain, your synapses making those connections and just mm -hmm. doing it before you do it. I've never seen a game that has, like, required that so quickly. Like, I've talked to you before about, like, Rock Band. If I'll be practicing a song and I can't do it, I'll go to bed, I'll wake up, and now I can just play it. This game is that, but it, like in, like, two to three minute bursts. Yeah, go for it, Pedro. Try to take a look. This one seems too easy. They're introducing a mechanic, I think. Ah. Mm, fucking great. There now go. it's half notes. My phone's over there. You don't have your phone on you? No, I left it over there. I'll get you my Yeah, I think it's just a picture. I'll have to uh, find it. There's been... Yeah, I think it's I saw it. It's not the whole cabinet. Here, so, yeah. It's a selection of the cabinet and the prime minister. There we go. Do it on eighth notes as well? You're probably right. <laughs> That's what you mean. Oh shit. Bingo. Depth Got perception it. problem there. Copy URL. I'll just put it in cool stuff. Question mark. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in cool stuff. Oh, getting the secret's actually quite hard. Interesting. Because you have to change your beat pattern to pick it up. You can't keep going in the same pattern if you want to live after picking it up. Actually, I kind of want to get that just to see what the pattern is. It's a musical cue. You might be right about jumping backwards, let's see. I see, yeah. Oh, but then I don't have enough time to get back unless if I do a double tap. I pitched anything. Um, says there the Secretary of Education, the Secretary of Treasury, the Prime Minister, and the Secretary of Interior. Got it now. Again, once I got it, I just did it. Ship pop. All right. Sounds like a Chipsel song. Okay, it's rests here. Da, 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 da.
Hmm. What's the pattern? Are they just rotating in like a circle? No, that one's always there, isn't it? All changing corners, it looks like. Relationship is between the turns here. Shit. I haven't learned how to do it this way. I like that the puzzles are small enough that the death penalty is not that high. It's like Super Meat Boy. Yeah. I saw the pattern, but I guess not. <laughs> You're so close. I uh, psych myself out. Don't fuck it up. You're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you can look ahead. The very next one, you can stand where it just fell. Shit. That was not my fault. Yeah, this is the kind of music I'd like to like do work to, you know? It's got a good beat, so I'll be like nodding my head, but it's not distracting because it's so repetitive. Shit. This one I'm not doing with just my brain. I'm very much thinking about what I'm doing, and it's a lot slower as a result. I just gotta do it. It kind of sucks that the doubles are sometimes horizontal and sometimes vertical. Basically, the way this one works is you can look ahead to the next section, and wherever you just saw the spikes form on the next section is a safe place to go. And but it's hard to like do the moves and think ahead. Yeah. Because you can't just look ahead to the next square. You have to look ahead to the next two squares mm -hmm. if you're gonna look. doesn't it? Yeah, so like the timing that you start on matters. That's why I keep trying to start on the same beat. Oh. Nope, it's down when I get there, okay. right if I go there. You got 
this. I bet that there's a pattern you can do where you're always pressing the same up, up, right, right, that sort of thing. Nope, it's not upright. doesn't work as well with my brain apparently as far as getting a free pass. That one's right. Okay. So I think it's like the safe half is probably predictable every time. There's two safe halves on every square, right? Then I gotta go. <laughs> oh, but it's down. No, down can't work. I can't no, be on that sorry, square. No, 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 no. You're, no, you're right. That is what I said, but then I can't get off the platform anymore. Right. Unless if I switch between the platforms. Okay, so that makes it extra hard. I think it's because I'm changing direction that I can't just do this and my brain figure it out for me. Ooh, Kyle's gonna be famous! She's, uh, gonna design stuff for nice. a super famous arts and crafts magazine in Finland. That's awesome, Kaimo. Are you, like, mostly doing, like, Shawls, right or you know, like little creatures, or socks, and I'm trying to think of what else people knit. Hats, scarves, all of the above. Okay, so I can exit off on that square. I think I can do it now. Have you made a baby Yoda yet? I've seen some. Although, is it knitting? It might be knitting. They're really cute. I just gotta actually land on the right square when I get there. I feel like I make kind of a random decision when I get close. I don't know why this one's fucking with me so bad. Nope, I'm already dead if I don't go straight up there. They're giving you so much like creative license. They're not like, I need you to make 20 scarves. Okay, I gotta go right there. of the way I've been playing the rest of the game. Yeah, just kind of brute forcing it. Yeah. First try, holy crap. Was... <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, there's probably a trick to that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're making me do a little trick to get over the center, that's fun. mean, but okay. <laughs> Flashlight level! <laughs> this game's not too bad as far as being able to sight read it. Nice. Oh. 
think that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, this, this kind of stage takes the whole Leap of Faith style to another level. earlier. No, I don't. Oh, I know why now. symmetric I did really well on my like second attempt and now I can't reproduce it for the life of me. Thinking too hard, I think. Yeah, the do 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 I think is up and down and then do 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 is back and forth. Do 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 see. Although I guess you can't really tell which one it is. Oh, never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> Nor my dumbass. You might be kind of right, though. Vertices are safe during the toggle, you think? Do you think this corner here is completely safe? Oh, okay. Uh I did like your fancy footwork. Thank you. Should have gotten moving. None. Yeah, super helpful. Oh, now your flashlight has gotten smaller. Congratulations. <laughs> it stays vertical twice. Oh, 
好不行，好不行。Oh, then I gotta move right. Okay. Oh, that's why it gives you two keys yeah. there. Needs. What's that? More cowbell. <laughs> Stressing you out? It'd be stressing me out. Don't go too fast. Just take your time, take your time. There you go. Tell me which way to go, I think. Which way not to go, maybe. Let me see what's available here. I gotta bounce back onto the safe spot. Dude, I'm glad you're playing this game, because I would never play this game. In high school, I probably would have played this game when I had much more patience. Oh, Aww, you did it! I can't believe I got that far without yeah. knowing what the hell is going on. No, that one where it was four spikes, except for one in the middle. That was good. I'm never gonna get that again. Is this 9 4? <laughs> 
little early. It's really easy to go early on this one. I still haven't done better than my first attempt, or my second attempt, or whatever. That one really, really good one. You'll get there. That's where I died originally, I think. So I didn't know there wasn't a path from there. Oh, you got to the edge. Cube flash is great when you move on the beat. So my early attempt, I happened to guess the right path, okay. Am I a total monster? <laughs> you know, it's maybe like 70-30. I guess you don't have to guess because you can see the S piece before you take it. Sort of. Oh, he bobs his head right at the beginning, like psyching himself up. Like, okay, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Do I do that? You do. It's very funny. It's like. Ben wiggling his butt before he pounces. And don't forget, you're on the left, you're on the edge, so don't go right. I'm on the edge of tomorrow. You. Oh. It's right, the very end. Okay, I got it. Red spikes point the correct path. You might be right. Paths that won't lead to death, basically. Yeah. Shit. There was an earlier stage that used spikes as conveyance in that way. Yeah. Why does that one have four? Is it because you're in a corner or something? I think it's because all four of the directions are legal. Oh, so you're like in the middle. Yay! The end. Witchcraft. 85 tries. Be Damn. Scary. Yay, I didn't get all the things. Oh, that's it? I didn't get all the things, though. That's fine. I still count that as a win. It, thank you very much for sharing that. That was really, really cool. 69% precision. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> this game's really, really cool. 
big fan. Check it out. Even if you're not into rhythm games, it's a short enough experience. You gotta watch your brain figure stuff out before you do. That was a good final boss level too. Because it was kind of like, I was noticing early on, like I was doing better on the stages that require leaps of faith where you had to like anticipate what the next step was going to be. Uh-huh. Because if there was too much on the screen for me to look at, I would look at it and I wouldn't just feel it. Um, so having the very last level be you have uh, to feel this, or you can't yeah. see shit. Like... Really good soundtrack in this game, too. Um, for my PhD thesis, my dedication page is to my best friend, Dylan. Oh, I can turn the BPM up and down? I kind of want to pop into a level really quick, I'm just curious. Oh, you're turning it all the way up. Turning that shit I'm not gonna to do it. Blend. That's kind of awesome that it lets you do that. That's neat. Thanks for sharing. I'll credit you 15 minutes back, Ascended. This game's really, really neat. I might play it and try to 100% it off stream. If I do, I'll make sure I record it. Commentary and all that fun stuff.